It takes a village to turn a cute baby panda into a rough and ready adult who can survive the mountains of southwestern China. Actually, it takes villages on two continents. Experts in China and from Michigan State University's Center for Systems Integration and Sustainability are working on two fronts to save giant pandas. In China, scientists at the Lula Nature Reserve are working to set up mother pandas for success so they can teach the cubs survival skills. That means humans take a hands-off approach, keep their distance, and acknowledge that mama knows best. Cubs tough enough will be reintroduced in areas where panda populations suffer from isolation and inbreeding. <laughs> Professor Jack Liu and his team at MSU study panda habitat from all the angles. It's impossible to put all the pandas in the uh, breeding center. It's important to release them into the wild so that uh, the pandas can be better protected. The work that we have been focused on in the past 70 years is to work on how panda habitat change over time and across the space. And that's very important because when you release pandas, you need to know where is a good place to release the pandas. And we need to release the pandas to area with good habitat so the pandas can survive and sustain themselves for a long time. Both groups believe these mountains are big enough for both people and pandas and both sides are using big doses of creativity to make that happen.